So I'm very interested in this topic of how a person's physical environment can psychologically affect them, uh, or you could maybe say spiritually affect them. And I recently recorded a conversation with a friend of mine on this topic, which I will share here. And I'm going to throw you in right in the middle of the thing, but within uh, not too long, it'll make sense what we're talking about. And so when we start the clip, Oliver is talking about a comparison between a music studio and a cathedral. The interior of the music studio is is shaped and and you know padded in the right way such that the right kinds of frequencies are bounced around and the wrong kinds of frequencies are absorbed. Mm. And there's a kind of feeling of going into a cathedral. Right of this, some spiritual version of that, yeah. that, if, that it, it is shaped in such a way and then, you know, the windows are sh in, you know, contain the images, right. of, you know, whatever. I, um, I actually had this experience uh, when I was, I, I visited uh, Jerusalem and I had a day uh, where I wanted to go see a bunch of cathedrals. And so I went to the Mount of Olives, which is this mount area sort of, uh, across from the actual the old city of Jerusalem where there's all a whole bunch of uh, churches and stuff and right. a thing that I noticed is th this is a thing worth trying for anyone who for any psychonaut um, you could say um, is mm -hmm. uh, any any meditator right or who has a certain sort of way that they do it um, is to go and this is what i did is to go into different churches where the churches just have very different vibes from each other and mm. just sit with your experience just like ask like what is this bringing out in me and it's just incredibly different when you're sitting in a church or cathedral that has a lot of gold and crazy mosaics mm. and uh like uh Im just images of of like you know christ bleeding and you know d stuff like this versus the like very the, the relatively humble you know like white walls um wooden wooden right. cross on the wall like wooden pews like um ideally when when you can have some some time by yourself or like with a very not too many people around is very different but um yeah like i think of these these physical these physical objects are designed to bring something out of you and you can sort of see in, mm -hmm. in the character, in the vibe of the place, uh, you can start to get a suggestion of what it's meant to bring out of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, like, then there's a way in which, um, let's say that the religious buildings are us stumbling across this phenomena of physical reality you know pulling a certain thing out of you in a man-made way i mean i'm sure people realize that like sitting at the side of a waterfall you know created a different effect in you than the top of a mountain or the right. middle of a forest or a desert um but we made these things to for a purpose of, of doing this and i wonder then it doesn't seem like the rest of the world is really taking that into account hmm. you know when you walk through you know, you walk down the street and it's just like, you know, the sound of cars and the smell of garbage and right. you know, horrible grey buildings. Right. You think, did, it, it, I don't know, it makes me unsure whether we do in fact know that that's a thing that has an effect. Or, or what that effect is or how deep it is or how important it is. Um, right. I have a whole lot of thoughts on this. But yeah, this is one of the things, right, where... Um, You know, if, if you've ever read uh, Moloch the Poem, have you ever seen sections from Moloch the Poem? Let me pull this up. Howl by Allen Ginsberg. Moloch, Moloch, robot apartments, invisible suburbs, skeleton treasuries, blind capitals, demonic industries, spectral nations, invincible madhouses, granite cocks, monstrous bombs, etc. They broke their backs, lifting Moloch to heaven, paving streets, radios, tons, lifting the city to heaven, which exists and which is everywhere around us. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the, you could take Howl to be a sort of um, 
a person having like a maddening religious ecstatic experience, religious ecstatic experience in response to modernity. Um, hmm. It's sort of like, okay, let's take seriously that the sort of will, world we physically built is our cathedral, and what is it praying to? Um, and this is a this is horrible. Right. This is the worst thought you'll ever have. Um, this is not the mm-hmm. worst thought you'll ever have, but it's it's bad. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's part of what's interesting about it is that it is there's just this question of like, is it avoidable? Um, mm. And people, um, there's a broader topic here, which is sort of like psychic sensitivity. I, I better not call it that um, because people will get the wrong idea. Uh, psychological sensitivity, um, right. um, which is, should we be, there's a mindset that says, well, you should be resilient to that or something like that. Um, Mm, who right. cares you know it's just it's just your physical environment your nervous system <laughs> well right i mean i have a view like i think it, it you know it's, it's nice to be around better stuff um at the same time you can't always be around better stuff um okay. and you know a, a lot of the a lot of the spiritual traditions deal with this question where they'll describe um like, here's the interesting question, you know, sort of uh, speaking in a slightly, uh, in like a parable-ish kind of way, um, is like, who is closer to God? Uh, is it the celebrity who has a private chapel in their massive mansion and they, they is a beautiful chapel and it's got like the right stained glass made by the guy who has the best thing um or is it like that the humble peasant who just goes to their their cross and their little shitty hovel and like seriously prays and so th- there is a thought in a lot of the traditions that the you know it's not about the church right <laughs> probably mm. um on one hand, the the beautiful church is like a treasure. It can draw you into this uh, state that is so much harder to to be in otherwise. At the same time, it clearly isn't really about it. It's not really the essence of it because um, we right. don't want to just be worshiping churches. You know, you worship God. You don't worship right. the church itself. It's just a thing. Um, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. a lot of the traditions try to answer it in, in that way. And then there's a, f- a question of how you would apply that to the modern world right mm-hmm. um in theory we should be able to and and if if i can speak in this way we should be able to reach god right surrounded by billboards and screaming you know traffic traffic lights and and like the psychotic chaos of of uh modern life and the internet like it's mm-hmm. the common view will be like well well god is in all of it right um Right. At the same time, it can be helpful to have a, a, some guidance in seeing that. 